Okay, the following uh, is the steps required for making an annotative block representing um, room numbers, or sorry, door numbers, uh, with the goal of using attribute extraction to generate your door schedule. Um, first of all, uh, I've got a commercial design floor plan open, and I'm in model space. Also notice I've set the annotation scale 1 to 1. The block itself will be annotative, but the text in the block will not be annotative. So the first step is going to be to create an ellipse or rectangle, depending on which you want uh, to use as a symbol. The ellipse dimensions are um, 8 millimeters across by 4 millimeters tall. The rectangle is 8 millimeters wide by 4 millimeters tall. The text height for the attributes will be 2 millimeters, not 2.5 millimeters, but 2 millimeters. That is so that the block will um, better fit within your floor plan. So, the next thing you must do is uh, go to your text style and textile manager and create a textile called door numbers. Use Arial Narrow for the font. Make sure the text is not annotative and make sure the height is set to zero and then set current and close. So uh, I've set layer 0 as my uh, current layer, and I've drawn in the ellipse. Again, the dimensions are 8 millimeters from here to here, 4 millimeters from here to here. So I'm going to uh, now focus my attention on the ellipse. And I'm going to type in all the commands, just so I don't have to spend extra time navigating the, the ribbons. Uh, the attribute definition command is ATTDF, DEF. And the first attribute is going to be visible. So I want to leave everything set the way that you currently see it. Lock position needs to be uh, checked off, though. The tag, the first tag is going to be door number. The prompt can be whatever you like it to be, as long as it asks for a door number. And for a default value, I'm going to use xxx.x. The text settings are going to be the justification to set to middle. The text style will be door numbers. Make sure annotative is not selected, and make sure the text height is set to 2 millimeters. Click OK. Now I'm going to position this attribute uh, at the center of the ellipse, and that's what it should look like. Don't worry about the fact that the tag extends beyond the edges of the ellipse. So now I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And uh, according to the handout, uh, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 more attributes to add. The remaining attributes to add are, are to be invisible. We don't want to be able to see them. So I'm going to pause the recording and add those uh, attributes. I'm going to add the first one uh, first. and the So that's going to be size. So I'm going to ATTDF again. I'm going to check off a line below previous. I'm going to check off invisible and the next one is going to be size. Uh, the prompt would be whatever you want it to be. Uh, and I'm going to pick a common size, 915 by uh, 2134. And uh, I'm going to then click OK. So the remaining ones, based on the handout from Barb, uh, would be added after this. So I'm going to pause, then I'm going to, uh, while it's paused, I'm going to add the other. Uh, attributes. Okay, I've uh, created all of the attributes, and you know they're visible on the screen because I haven't used the block command to create the block yet. Um, but I've uh, used all the information as uh, provided by Barb uh, on her notes regarding schedules. So we have uh, an attribute for the size of the door, 
which room is it from, swinging from, swinging to, the swing type, door type, material, glazing, frame material, frame type, jam type, fire rating, and notes. So now to make the block. So I'm going to use the block command. And I'm going to call this block door numbers. I'm going to pick for a base point the center of the ellipse. Now if you're using a rectangle, then you would use the center of the rectangle. I use the uh, mid between two points um, object snap to pick off the corners. Um, I'm going to select the objects. Now I highly recommend you do it this way. Select the uh, attributes one by one in the order you would like them to appear in the uh, block or insert command. When I mean, you get that dialog box to fill in the information. Uh, if you use a window or a crossing to select them all at once, then it's going to always put the newest attribute at the top of the list, which is in this case notes. Um, having selected them all, uh, and of course you can, if you do that, you can always change them after the fact using uh, the attribute editor command. Um, we want the block to be annotative, so I'm going to check this off, and I do not want to go into the block editor. So um, I've got convert to block selected here under objects, and I'm going to click OK. And immediately you get a dialog box uh, popping up asking you to fill in information. I'm going to click OK, and there's my block. If I select it, you see it is a block. I didn't fill in any of the information. If I uh, turn on Attribute Display, you can actually see all the invisible attributes. So I'm just going to use Undo there. Oops, went too far. I'm going to use Redo. There we go. Now, how does this work? Well, when you uh, take a look at your plan, so I'm going to zoom out here, and I'm going to zoom in on a door. I'm going to set the uh, annotation scale to 1 to 100, which is the scale for this particular drawing. When I go to insert a door, you can see that it is scaled correctly. That's because the block is annotative. The text is not annotative. You can fill in the information. I'm just making up the numbers here. And uh, whatever. Um, click Next to see the remaining. Uh, and I click OK, and there it is. Later on, in a different video, I'll show you how to extract these attributes to make the uh, table. And that ends this video. It, some of the system variables you need to be aware of uh, are ATTDISP, which is at read display, whether they're visible or not, and ATTDIA, attribute dialog uh, when it's set to one shows the um, shows the uh, dialog box when you insert a block with attributes. When you insert a block with attributes with this set to zero, you have to actually type in at the command line. I'm going to set it to zero just to show you. If I insert and pick an insertion point, I'm just going to pick uh, right here. Look at my command line. What's the door number? I'd have to type that in. Press enter. What's the size? Press enter and so on, all the way down. So I'm just hitting escape here to finish this. That ends this video.